What is up everybody and welcome back to more Let's Play Pixelmon. So as I did promise last episode, if we reached over 50 likes, we'd be I would upload we would be I would upload two videos today and we did reach over 50 likes and I, I, it was more I was shooting for under 24 hours we reached that amount of likes and we did do that so that's awesome for you guys a big thank you and I will be uploading two today but let's let's challenge ourselves a little more let's go for 75 likes today and if we reach 75 likes on this video in the next 24 hours I will upload two more tomorrow so pretty exciting about that so we do have a Jigglypuff right there and who do I want to battle Jiggly? I really want to get Larvista to level up so I'm going to battle him with her, or her with him yeah <laughs> that was that was confusing for me for some reason and he's gonna double slap me just jigglypuff coming in slapping me across the face and uh, but it's no big deal we, we will take it like a boss so tons of squirtles over here in the corner battling away and we do have another machoke right here this would almost be smarter to battle with um Mill tank, but I want to level up this guy and he's gonna focus energy so hopefully he doesn't actually land any crits oh god Oh god, that was actually, it wasn't very effective, but it did a lot of damage, uh oh. So he's gonna do that, he's gonna vital throw me, I'm actually gonna have to leech life, I think, here. okay, that did two damage, god damn, that sucked. Um, but it's okay, because we do have Bagon here, and Bagon, I'm just gonna switch out of him straight away. What we really need is a, um, a heal thing, That those things that heal things, I forget what they're called, um, or even a revive, how do you craft a revive? I don't know. How do you craft a revive? I could look that up. Uh, revive. I don't know. So, but we could do slash pokey heal. And something I have been wanting to ask you guys. And, um, yeah. So, I, I do want... Oh, wait. Uh, it can be obtained as a drop from Pokemon or found in Poke Loot Chest. So, not quite. Holy crap. That looked like a fat melting. What I do want to ask you guys, though, uh, is if you did watch my one video, I did kill another boss. That's almost unrelated. But I did do that. So, we could keep the potion and uh, we could throw the facade up there or... For facade and um yeah so in the next few episodes we'll do that definitely but what i want to ask you guys right here right now i know such such leading up to this point but what um what orbs should we make so from what i read only the moltres orb works right now but frankly we have to charge up these orbs orbs which means you have to battle tons of and if you don't know what the orb does this is the way you get um legendary pokemon so right here we do have two of them and uh, that's the durability but as you kill pokemon or battle pokemon and win i imagine you the orb will slowly get charged and charged but you do have to combine it with one of these crystals and um each obviously i think the thunderstones what zapdos articuno and moltres so i'm here to ask you guys which one should we go we obviously have uh, excess of thunderstone so we could get multi-choice we obviously do have two orbs i did get another one yesterday from battling a boss pharaoh that was actually in my uh top three features coming to pixelmon up or video and uh, yeah so just out of curiosity what do you guys think i should do which one so leave a comment down below i'll definitely be reading over those and then the next episode maybe the second episode today we'll go try and get one of those things and charge that up and maybe we could even in the next few episodes get a legendary pokemon that would be quite awesome for us and uh yeah so we got a mill tank over there no big deal and uh, yes, but for today, let's try and get a Volcarana, and maybe even if we if we want to go shoot, shoot really high, we could try and get a Salamence as well. We'll see uh, how well or badly that works out, though. That Golbat, I really want to battle, because that'll be a really good experience. It's just really, really hard to battle these things with the new flying mechanic. Oh god, oh god, perfect opportunity right there. Boom. And that's how it's done, ladies and gentlemen. So I'm just worried he's going to kill me. Oh, he's going to confuse right me. I'm confused. All right, we're fine, though. We're fine, right? Volcarana taking it like a boss, taking it like a boss. So our speed was increased. That's good for us. He's going to confuse Ray us again. Getting a little hurt from the confusion, but right now we're still still going strong. So we'll continue to flame charge up a bit. All right, there you go. Getting a critical hit. I am still confused. And oh, there you go. Snapping out of confusion. Wow, we didn't level up. Wow. Do I have a lucky egg? I thought I had a lucky egg, but I don't think I do. Just some things on my list of things to do, just giving you guys a idea of uh, what I want to do over the next few episodes, is I do want to, well, obviously I've been organizing my inventory really quickly and um, all that, but what I do want to kind of do over the next few, oh, and a cell battery I did get as well, or I think someone might give that to me, I don't know where I got that. But, um, what did you want? I thought that was a muck. <laughs> That's just, it's a purple block. <laughs> it looked like a pokey. It looked like, or I thought, not a muck. Uh, I thought it was one of those guys. A, um, not a ghastly. What are they called? I was going to supersonic me just to make this difficult. Um, a grimer. No, not a grimer. Grimer's the little mucks make grimers. I, I forgot what it's called. And he just put me to sleep. Seriously. Hopefully he doesn't confusion. And, um, all right, well, we're fine. I, I just give me time to talk about what I wanted to talk about, which is, um, yeah, just to map things out. Basically, what I want to do is 
get my team pretty set up not completely but you know kind of map out the majority of what i want my team to be because i have a pretty good idea of where i want to go with it and stuff like that and then after we get that done or at least mostly done what i want to do from there is go to and i saw one of those guys i know yeah um what I want to do after that is start a town. Is really just start building up a town. We could try and recruit people for our town. By then, the gyms probably will be implemented. So we could go try and battle some of the gyms and stuff like that. Try and get our badges and hopefully maybe even one day get to the Elite Four. Obviously, this is very far away, I imagine. And uh, yeah, but that's just kind of mapping things out of where I want to go. And then after that, really, what I want to do is after we beat the Elite Four. And, ooh, bug bite. Um, the bites is hard to holding a barrier the user oh it eats the effect of the berry that's pretty funny um well leech life's cool but it sucks um it really it does like two damage and it's really not just doing anything for me so um, unless we get leech seed but i don't believe leech seed's a bug move so it wouldn't be our stat wait then again it doesn't really i don't know maybe well if we get leech seed i might use that but uh, so we have venomot right there hello venomot and oh she was charging at me there that was terrifying uh, but we can take care of her one two three and i'm um, actually just got a headache so hmm, that's the hardships of filming and uh, but yeah so that that's just our little map out but right now here and now what i want you guys to do is still as a very tiny slow bro slow poke and um, what i guys i do obviously want you guys to do now is let me know in the comments below articuno moltres or zapdos i don't really have a preference i never I don't know, the legendary birds were always just the legendary birds. When we get to Ho-Oh and Lugia, though, I mean, Lugia is quite the boss. So uh, we may have to get a Lugia when that's implemented. And then following that, there is Groudon, Kyogre, but I don't think there's any real way to get those guys yet. So that really doesn't benefit us. We don't have anything to do there. So we can continue on. Is that a boss? No, it's just, it's dying. <laughs> and then he battles me. Um, but yeah, so that was just some guy. He was just, he was dying from the wall because he's not very smart it's okay though because you know it's not all not all the pokemon are the brightest no one not everyone can compete with Slowpoke. the pokemon rumor is Slowpoke because you know Slowpoke is kind of like he's kind of out of it so you know when you look at him you're kind of like oh he's like you know spacing out whatever whatever he's doing the rumor is that he does that because he's so smart that um, oh god they just use confusion on me yep this is bad this is really bad um uh, I kind of want to run. Who's the fastest? Tropius, probably. Signal beam, we could run away, or we can't run away. Oh, I could just do whirlwind. Ha! Huh. That's what I thought. All right, so we could go heal up really fast now. And pokey heal, and let's try that again. <laughs> oh, this other guy's battling him too, but yeah, the rumor is that he is so smart that he, um, uh, that, that he, he is actually a genius, but he's getting, his brain is getting, it, like pounded with so much energy i guess i don't know so so much thoughts per se that uh like he is like spaced out because it's all hitting him so fast all this knowledge and then he is actually spacing out and that's why it appears he's spacing out but he's really a genius and then when he gets uh he gets bit by a shoulder and then he becomes slow king slow right right i forget the evolution line isn't there two evolutions for slow poke slow bro yeah right I don't know. I'm, I'm confusing myself now. Old old school Pokemon myths. That's what, uh, or at least that was like one of the fan fiction things. There are no, tons of fan fiction things. Some of them are really funny. They're not even funny. They're just entertaining to read. Or like I remember, I was reading this one thing. This is completely unrelated to Pixelmon. Well, not completely, but it completely unrelated to what I'm doing right now. But hey, who? Some fun facts that I have in my mind. If a Pokemon was every type, so one Pokemon was every single type. You know, water, fairy, fire, everything. The only move that wouldn't be, like, that would be regularly effective and not not very effective would be Rock. Rock would be the only move that you could attack that Pokemon with, and it would not be doing half damage or less than that. So, I thought that was kind of funny. I was like, yeah, that's, that's kind of interesting. And uh, so, we do have this guy. Now that we do have Bug Bite, we can definitely uh, try and make something happen here. You are a giant goddamn cold duck, though. And, um... So he's going to disable. I didn't use a move yet. We continue to bug bite. And uh, as you can see, yeah, bug bite doing tons more damage than leech life. Let's just hope he doesn't use a water move. He did not, though. So thankful for that. And we do have a um, magic carp here. I think I'm going to... Oh, God damn it. That thing where I eat and you I wasn't eating anymore. Or I wasn't clicking anymore, but it still eats. I don't like that. And, um, oh, we do got that guy over there. So we could go battle him. I'm going to heal up before that, though, because that is a bit ambitious of a battle. The third evolution. He does have a third evolution. Wait. Does Poliwhirl have a third evolution? Okay. <laughs> oh, no. Poliwhirl is the third evolution, right? Wait. Poliwag. Ash gets a Poliwhirl. Hold on. 
Is it? I forget. Um, I'm trying to look it up, but I don't want to uh, screw this up. Uh, Polywhirl. Alright, I typed it in kind of wrong. Um, all right, no, yeah, it has, it does have, no, yeah, Polyrath. Is that in the mod? That That's a cool Pokemon, Polyrath. It looks way meaner, too. And it's like a boxing guy, or it looks like, I always associated that with him. Is he part fighting? Yeah, he is. I was going to say, I, I for some reason, I always pictured him as that. But yeah, so we are going pretty good with the leveling. Oh, wow, you're actually a pretty high-level Psyduck. And Psyducks are pretty out of it, too, but I just think they're, I just think they're out of it. I don't think they're geniuses. Well, maybe they are. I don't know. Maybe Psyducks will take over the world one day. I could, I could see that. I could totally see that. So we do have a that thing over there. Um, the thing that evolves into a Metagross. A Beldum? Yeah, Beldum. Bagon Beldum. And uh, what's the other one that everyone wants, but it's really pain in the butt to get? Oh god, that's a tiny Raticate. I'm going to battle you. And we can Flame Charge him, taking care of that and increasing our speed. Now it should be one to hit. There you go. But uh, yeah, Raticates are quite cool. And um, I always hear people saying that Raticate's a good Pokemon because it learns Hyper Fang so early. And it's kind of right. I mean, Raticate for like a level 30 under Pokemon is pretty good. But once you hit over level 30, Pokemon tend to learn better moves. And yeah, so we are at level 32, actually, which is quite impressive. And one thing we also have to address before we get into any competitive battling, because that is another thing I want to do in the next few episodes. Holy crap. Look at all the Numals. <laughs> and they're all so low level. Actually, no, you're actually really not that low level, but still relatively low level um the only one th oh wait why did i bug bite of all the things to do <laughs> I'll, I'll do a takedown instead and uh yeah i don't know what that was about uh but yeah numels uh wait no what was i saying I, I don't know i have no idea what i was saying well that's awkward we can do those oh damn it that was perfect all right come on pharaoh come on you know you want to battle me mate oh 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 okay i'm failing really hard right now oh oh come on come on he's stuck on the thing right there he's stuck on the thing nope Oh, oh, come, what? What? <laughs> this barrel is just, it is being quite mean to me. Oh, that's perfect. What? 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 <laughs> that was ridiculous. Are you kidding? <laughs> come back. All right. Well, that kind of sucked, but it's okay. Because some mill tanks are here for moral support. Someone, a Matang. Okay, so some Matang battled me. I don't even know where this guy came from or where he is for that matter. And we are going to be super effective and flame charge him a bunch of times. So we could do that. Finishing him off. There you go. Level 43. We are getting to swipe. Yeah, 55 he evolves out, right? So we have quite a ways to go. This guy is just getting stuck on everything. Oh, yeah, look, a Poliwag. Poliwags, Poliwag party. And uh, yeah, so again, as I was saying, before we get into competitive battling, is that what I, say? I was saying before and I forgot? I don't know, it might have been. But uh, before we really get into any serious competitive battling, we're definitely going to have to. Oh, crap, that's not very fair. Yeah, I should have used bug. Um, before we get into that, we're going to have to really consider uh, finding. Oh, crap. Well, back on, you could come and clean this up. And uh, we're going to have to really consider how to fix our bug weakness. Because we have a pretty, pre or not bug, our fire weakness. Because we have a pretty bad weakness to fire types. And actually, let's use a regular heal healer for once. Because we've been using uh, slash pokey heal for so long. And, uh, oh wait, where are the regular healers in there? Uh, yeah, probably. But, um, yeah, so, oh, was that a shiny? Yeah, it was. Um, yeah, right here. So, but yeah, so what we got to figure out is how to get rid of that fire weakness. And with that, we have to figure out, well, I guess a marsh stomp wouldn't hurt. Um, if we could find one of those, I'm obviously thinking about my top five starters because uh, <laughs> that video is fun making. But yeah, marsh stomp, relatively common Pokemon, wouldn't be too hard to find one. But at the same time, it would be quite the good Pokemon. So we have a bunch of Raticates in here. We could try and flame charge them down. And there you go, getting a crit on him. And uh, we could eat some more food though, so we don't starve to death. Even though we're getting poisoned from eating this rotten flesh. We ran out of all of our regular food supplies, so the star Oh, he battled me. Touche. Touche. I probably shouldn't take down because I'm gonna take recoil damage for the Okay, that's huge. That's huge. Yeah. Um Uh Takedown's a pretty good move, actually. But assurance kinda sucks. Uh, what's, wait, what's flame charge? Oh, yes, your flame charge. So, uh, wow. Yeah, that that's awesome. So, that is an awesome move on him. And, um, isn't it not special, though? It, it is, in fact... Oh, God. Uh, so let's, let's try a flamethrower. And, well, it should one-shot. I could probably one-shot him, regardless of what move I use. But, um, yeah, flamethrower. Flamethrower? Flamethrower. Pretty good, pretty good. I'll break a little pathway out here for all of those adventurers that are trying to get over the hill. 
and really because I wanted to go f check out this Onyx. Look at this thing, level 43, that's quite good. So let's battle him, and we could bug bite him down, hopefully he does a dragon breath, holy crap. Um, wow, he did like, he took no damage, Jesus. Um, so I'm going to flame charge up just to get my speed up, and I'm actually, that, is that actually doing more damage? I mean, we do have a chance of uh, burning him here, so this almost might be worth it. And, um, and I'm increasing my speed. Oh, God. He's going to kill me. I'm going to have to switch out. Um, well, I don't want this person to live. Yeah. <laughs> Hurt by Stealth Rock. What we can do is Leech Seed him, though. And, oh, okay. Or you could just Dragon Breath, get a crit. And, uh, oh, he l Stealth Rocked. Oh, crap. Um, okay, so he's going to try Stealth Rock again. I probably should be using... Oh, crap. Um, oh, I can't switch in again because I'll die. So who could just take him out really fast? I guess Tropius will switch in too to kill him. And it has no effect because, yeah, Tropius is... Uh, oh, crap, I used the wrong move. Oh, mother fudger. We could, we could uh, do that, though. He's going to dig. No effect. Magical Leaf will be a one-hit KO. Awesome. That actually that gave us no experience. Really, Onyx? I expected so much more from you. I'm going to take a drink of water, though. Server restart in five minutes. <laughs> And if anyone wonders why it does that, it's an automatic restart every three hours. I think I've said that in a video before, but that is the reason for that. And uh, yeah, so I think we're kind of in the wrong place for this. Since there's a server restart anyway, and my voice is kind of getting, uh, you could hear, it's like itchy. So I have to go, go, go make that noise to make clear your throat. But um, yeah, so I'll come back after the restart. I'm going to go try and find a jungle biome again. We'll uh, go check out that jungle. Actually, we could battle you. Um, no, you're too low level. You though, you, you're high level. Um... God damn it, battling these things are such a pain in the butt. <laughs> they just fly around and then they try and fly. Oh, oh, oh. oh poof. There you go. All right, thank God. Um, so we could flame charge, raising our speed. Hopefully he doesn't do anything. And we can, then after this, we can uh, I'll go to a jungle biome because we'll have much better luck there, I think, battling these uh, Pokemon. So, and plus, we always find all the people that are looking for Muse because Muse are really hard to get on this. I thought I just died. I was about to cry. And, uh, but yeah, Mews are really hard to get on the server, intentionally. But yeah, so I'll be right back, and, uh, I'll go try and get some food. <gasps> oh, wait, depends what level that one is. Depends what level that one is. Da -na -na -na. Oh, it's only 30, I'll battle it anyway, though. And, uh, yeah, we could flame charge really quickly. Hopefully, oh, god, oh, god, he po I'm still poisoned. Oh, crap, yeah, I forgot, that stuff carries over now. And finish him off. Alright, so now I'll be right back. Later, well, not really, BRB. So before switching over to uh, the new area, I did find a uh, trainer, so I figured I'd battle him out, battle him out, no, just battle him, and uh, see what kind of Pokemon he has. Oh god, he's doing a lot of damage to me. <laughs> Don't kill me, please. Oh no. Oh no, please kill him, please kill him. Yes. No, he quick. <sighs> well, I guess in situations, in situations like these, I'll just whirl one. And, oh wait, it's not going to work. Be oh wait, no, it is going to work. It shouldn't have worked, but it did work. And we could try again, and we could do the same thing, because, you know, that's just how we roll. <laughs> and hopefully, we'll get a burn, maybe? And nope, he's going to continue to gust us and do more damage than we do to him or her. And he's, then he's going to twist her, screw it up a little bit. Then he's going to... Oh, we killed it. All right, Scythe. All right, but then now comes out the Scythe there. Now we can try and Flame Charge. He's going to kill us. I, yep. <laughs> X's are... All right, so... Uh, I guess I'm bore. Even though I really don't have any desire for him to level up, I guess it makes sense. So we could, and then we could just flamethrower through the rest of these guys. Critical hit, and uh, yeah, Embor levels up instead of us. And there's a bag on right there. Oh, it's those Salamence. But yeah, so I'll come back in a minute. All right, guys, we are back, and this guy actually does want to battle, so I figured I'd do it really fast. We may be a bit too high of a level for him, but oh crap, I didn't type slash slash pokey heal and uh, so he does have a jolteon and i guess we'll just leave with larvista and uh, we'll see how well or badly this goes and uh, jolteon's probably gonna outspeed me though and um can you pokey heal me um all right i guess i'll do that because i'm nice uh oh 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 god do you have to type his full name mr backstab making it so demanding all right so let's do this real fast and uh, just bang get a, a quick battle in. I, as I did say, I do want to do some more battle. Oh, crap. <laughs> that was like, it just went straight through him. So here we go. We both have six Pokemon. Obviously, some of mine are much better than the rest of them. So we could flame charge him. And um, oh, okay. So that was a uh, one hit KOing us. Oh, God. So, but here comes out the Swampert. And uh, I'm going to switch into Tropius for this. As uh, Muddy Water won't do too much, but we can magical leaf him. And uh, should do pretty good damage because grass is going to be super effective against his water and ground typing. And uh, what's going on? on here hello hello 
Hello. And, um, okay. So he is going to switch into a Charmeleon. I actually got a critical hit on that Charmeleon. And, um, I could Whirlwind him out. Hopefully I'm faster. I am not, unfortunately. And, oh god, did it just not work? <gasps> Wait, what happened? Uh, uh, okay. I guess that didn't work. Well, then I guess I'm going to switch into M Boar. Now let's see, he's going to Flame Burst on Embor, won't do too much damage to us, and we could Smog, because I'm going to assume he's going to either stay in, or uh, switch into another Pokemon that could take it, so there you go. Yes, yeah, so we did get the Smog off, so that's good for us, we can do, oh, so here comes out the Swampert again, we can Smog again, and then I'll switch out, so, um, oh god, we're not getting the Poison though, so uh, I'm going to switch back into Tropius, I think, or we could switch into Cottony as Death Fodder, if it actually kills us, and then uh, do uh, Giga Drain, actually, this may work. If we're faster. I'm going to guess we're not faster. But if we are faster. No we're not. So it's okay though. So we could switch back into Tropius. Who does have Magical Leaf. Which is hits all of the time. And uh, Magical Leaf is a really really strong move. So as long as it doesn't kill us. And we're going to use Magical Leaf again on Charmeleon. And uh, this is actually quite the intense battle. I'm, I'm coming to that realiza realization right now. And uh, who to switch into. I mean Miltank. I, I probably would probably be the smart choice. But frankly i don't want to do that and what we can do here is flame charge to increase our speed stat and um yeah we should oh crap this is the one thing i can't handle um i'm gonna switch oh no oh crap oh crap i meant to click mill tank but we can switch into mill tank and just the, frankly <clears throat> None of these guys could really, they could touch him, but none of them are going to be able to do too much damage to him. So I could start, just start body slamming and clear through most of these guys as um, the switching battle will hopefully conclude with this. As uh, this actually turned into quite, oh god, I just hit something on my desk. Turned into quite a more serious battle than I expected to. So it looks like he is trying to make decisions and I'm going to body slam him and just continue to body slam. I can milk drink if it comes down to it. I'll take a drink of coffee though. Very quickly, obviously we're striving to get that paralyzed, and uh, we'll see how lucky we are with that. So, uh, oh my god, so many mill tanks. Yeah, mill tanks are quite abundant sometimes. So Mr. Backstab is still just hanging out. Let's see um, what he decides to do. And oh, so body slam. Oh, we did get the para hacks. All right, so we are good in that sense. Um, I'm gonna body slam once more. And uh, oh, the para hacks. Oh god, I didn't want to do that. God damn it, I'll just bug bite really quick. He better get paralyzed. And, oh, there you go. Or we can be faster. That works too. So he's going to send out a Glide score. I don't know what this thing could do. Losing that mill tank, uh, I, I should have I milk drank. It was the smarter choice, and he has acrobatics, and I think that might just about be it. And, uh, yeah, I, I screwed that up really badly. Right now, even, I should have body slammed and uh, hope for the power hacks. But he's going to X scissor anyway. I'm going to get a crit critical hit. But see, if we body slammed and got the power hacks, we could have just won that. It, it would have been a small chance, but it would have been a chance I I should have took and uh, i'm just gonna say good game right now so let's see we'll finish this off because i i don't think there's any real way i could uh win this battle but it was pretty close i feel like i should have been able to win that it was um it, it was i i should have won that it, there's no real his actual bag on is about the same uh stat as me but as long as i got a rage off first so it should theoretically increase my attack slightly more than his and it looks like i am right in that assumption so uh we can do that finish him off right there and we'll actually level up to 25 and learn ember so that's that's kind of good so we could ditch focus energy right there and he's going to send out scyther and oh wow that worked out really well didn't it so oh crap we could say good game though and then slash pokey heal up and uh, yeah see again so though we don't have uh we need some uh we, we just need some better pokemon yeah it was uh, too many too bad i misclicked there otherwise that was a pretty close battle actually we had pretty even pokemon both of us having some relatively low levels what i should have done there is uh, definitely i could have used cottony cottony has some really really strong moves and um, i didn't take advantage of that i, I could have made a smart switch into cottony and uh i, I could have definitely landed something better like getting a, getting a paralyze off first then switching to cottony and laying down a leech seed or getting a nice giga drain would have been really good for us but unfortunately i did not do that so we do have a tropius right here which i obviously have a tropius but so we're gonna just kill this one uh albeit tropius is quite the cool pokemon uh very happy i caught her or him no it's a him yeah it should be a her but it's a him and we do have some just miscellaneous pokemon in this jungle but i figured being in the jungle is probably gonna be better for uh, leveling a fire type because well frankly there's tons of fire pokemon so we could flame charge get a nice crit we actually have been landing quite a bit of uh crits um Versus one of my Pokemon. 
No thanks. And uh, yes, we can continue on and uh, climb up through some of this. So we do have a ladybug, and that is the evolution for or the evolved one. And ooh, we have a gloom right here. Aren't glooms kind of rare? And if the depending on what level that guy. Oh god, is he dying? Wait, no, don't die. Don't die. It's a level twenty-three. No, that's a little bit too high. I I'm looking for a lower level um uh scyther, like maybe a. Uh, a 10 to 20 i guess between 10 and 20 that was a 23 so uh, that was relatively good i'll do slash r high and uh yeah we can continue on journeying through here so let's see if we can't find what i really want to do what i'm striving to do this episode is get that and i know in the next few episodes i definitely want to look for some more pokey loot chests because we actually have not found one on camera i don't believe i don't think i found any off camera either actually yeah so i've yet to find actually no i found one right as the server started but i don't think that really counts it was at spawn it was it, i was like the first one on i was like oh hey look a pokey loot chest but i think since then i lost whatever items i had from that so there is that and oh there we go oh no don't battle him okay so we have another scyther right there same level as previous please don't battle him that is my my pokemon oh he doesn't see him go 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 there you go so <laughs> clutching it right there um the other jungle i think that we were battling in was a quite a bit better because it was uh it was kind of taken down and um wasn't as thick this one is kind of hard to navigate in because all the trees are extremely built up but uh, that is okay though a jungle is still a jungle and it kind of gives you more of the jungle experience holy crap you are a giant bell sprout or no i'm sorry you're a giant weeping bell and i was gonna say that's a big weeping bell for such a low level but that was the bell sprouts level so we are okay use knockoff i don't know does that actually well that was weird uh, it like took a second, um, but uh, yeah. So I'm not sure, Bell Sprout. Uh, or I'm not. Sh wait, what was it? I, I don't know what I was saying. I'm not sure something. I'm not sure about something. That I, I could gather that much, but um, yeah. So we can continue going deeper and deeper into the jungle, and hopefully we'll find um, what what its secrets it holds. I mean, hell, maybe we'll even find a Mew. If we find a Mew, I will. Uh, uh, okay, thanks. And, um, yeah, if we find a Mew, I'd be quite happy. I kind of like how they just have this, like, little house in the middle of the jungle. It's quite cool. And uh, it's, like, uh, even if you're just living on your own, it is pretty nice. Plus, the jungle Pokemon, always, always, I tend to like those guys. Just because I thought there were there's just some really... Ooh, a scissor. There's some really cool Pokemon. So, we're going to be four times effective against that thing. Yeah. <laughs> I was going to say, we're probably going to kill it pretty easily. And uh, I kind of like that idea of just finding, like, a big jungle, living in the middle of it. It's a cool, cool theory. And, uh, you know, probably just having enough to survive and not living so much excess and hopefully we don't die actually no we're pretty high level oh crap that zen headbutt dude oh no 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 <sighs> wow i that is i'm misclicking so much this episode <laughs> my god but uh yeah that was almost almost lost that and that would have been bad because that was some good experience right there because uh frankly these these venomots they give us really good experience and uh, that's why i keep battling them really useful for us so we could do that we can uh, flame charge. oh he's gonna confuse us like they always do so we'll flame charge a bunch more and uh okay so getting the full confusion the full three turns and okay just kidding getting the full four turns or is that three turns that might have been three turns only we are faster now so we can finish it off nice and quickly and gaining a cool 2000 experience and that is a level 39 venomot so we'll probably gain a little bit less from you that's okay so we should be faster now and be able to finish them off there you go and um hmm so let's see where I saw another high level Pokemon. So we have a sand slash, but frankly, I don't think we'll be able to do. Oh, wait, that's I typed in one. Okay. <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. So we could go battle sand slash really fast. And um, bug, what is bug super effective against? I don't know. So we can flame charge just, oh, he's going to poison sting. But flame charge, it doesn't do crazy amounts of damage, but it does enough damage to uh, finish, do the job. And uh, yeah, as you can see, sand slash is actually do give pretty, pretty good experience. So we can do that. And I guess since they're ground... Oh, he's going to sand attack. That sucks. And All right, so we'll use Swift, so only one sand attack won't hurt us too much. We still have a pretty good chance of hitting him. Watch, I'm going to miss now on this last move. Oh, nope, he hit me twice now. Oh, no, we did it, so go go Larvista. And uh, there you go. Yeah, see, a nice 2,700 experience. As I did say, they do give quite a bit of experience. So is Bug super effective against Rock? I feel like it should be, even if it's not. It does quite a bit of damage either way. I guess we are quite a bit higher level anyway, so it shouldn't be too big of a deal. And, uh, yeah, so we can eat that. Poke heal one more time, just because we are fighting Pokemon that are relatively powerful. Well, as I say that, a level 17 Diglett battles us, so maybe not that guy. But some of these other guys, I'm going to take a drink of water really fast. 
because with these longer episodes, you know, gotta, gotta maintain that stamina. Or, uh, I don't know if that's the right word, but who cares? So we get Flame Charge once more, and he's gonna try and Swift us. I don't think so. Um, I feel like these guys really could kill us, but they're not, they're, they're not doing it so much. That one was a little bit of a lower level, and oh god, oh god, messages, messages, never good while filming. So we do have this guy, probably gonna be a level 30, 26 to 30, that's what they tend to be. We could bug bite him though, and really, just trying to get us to that level 55, and we can continue jumping and jumping, and uh, let's see where we end up from this. So we could jump, 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 and uh, yes, we got tons of Geodudes around, we could take down really fast, that was actually probably not the best, wow, that didn't kill him. A flamethrower should, though, even though it is not very effective. And, uh, oh, hey. Hello, beautiful. Hello, beautiful. Please don't tell me he's in a battle. Oh, no, no, no. Don't take down. Okay, it's fine. Oh, no, he killed it. Oh, man. I got excited for that, too. Well, that would have been awesome amounts of experience, especially the red bosses. Those guys are quite amazing, but it is okay. So, we, yeah, we have been seeing quite a few boss Pokemon. Well, see, we, we could have had three Moonstones. Oh, well. Stupid, stupid, stupid. Uh, I'm going to blame Embor, or because, I don't know, I'm just going to blame him. And we do have these guys battling it out over here. So we can battle this Sand Slash instead. We might have honestly not even been able to kill that Sand Slash. We're not very effective against, or not super effective against it. And uh, frankly, Sand Slash are quite, quite tanky Pokemon. So could have won either way, really. And he's going to actually survive that barely. So we could finish him off, though. Gain us our 1,200 experience. Those t defense curls dragging that out, that battle out much longer than it needed to be. And um, yes, yeah, so we could go try and like re-enter the forest here. And gradually work our way back in, and uh, so yeah, we got we got some pretty low level Pokemon, except that Primeape. That Primeape's actually you're a decent level, so we could Flame Charge you once we get Volcarona. I I mean honestly, this is that's going to be huge. And after Volcarona, we're going to shoot for Salamence, and uh, but yeah, obviously as you get to higher and higher levels, become leveling up becomes more and more difficult. But uh, once we get to level 50, we actually learn a new move. That's the thing with Larvasta and Volcarona. You actually learn a move every um every uh whatchamacallit every 10 levels so at every 10 you learn a new move so i'll just battle all these relatively low level pokemon because frankly we could one shot them and they're going to add up eventually so that's a decent level venomot venomot come back oh yeah see look this is where their farm is so that's kind of cool so we can flame charge him finish him off eat some food because our hunger is getting kind of low and uh, i'll actually switch off so it doesn't continue to eat food because i want to want to save our food when at all possible and yeah look at all these venomots only level 18 though so i'm not going to waste my time on there as uh, that'll be like nine experience oh a chimch <gasps> oh my god oh my god i've been looking for one of you guys for like months on months on months so we found a wild chimchar that's huge because Chimchar is a Pokemon that I want and we're going to try a Luxury Ball just because I have one and why not. I'll take a drink of coffee as it spins and oh my god, we might be able to catch this thing. Chimchar, I don't know if it's going to be on our main team, but as you did see, uh, Blaziken and Infernape, two extremely, extremely good Pokemon. And um, in preparation, I'm actually going to open the nature list on my second monitor as uh, I do that every time. So nature Pokemon, I'll type that in really quick. And uh, there you go. So obviously we need to go access a PC now and um, we could probably borrow theirs. First, let me get Volcarona level 50. And then we could go, uh, if anything, we could go to spawn or something. So there's a Ladybug. They tend to be decently, or Ladian? Oh, oh, Ladybug's the first evolution. I did not know that. Learn something new every day. Wow, yeah, that guy gave a good amount of experience. So let's go battle this one too. And, uh, Oh, okay, he's gonna dodge us a bunch of times. <laughs> Come back. No, no. Uh, alright, alright. Come on. Breaking through here. Breaking through the vines. Trying to get to this Pokemon. There you go. Finishing him off. And, uh, yeah, so let's see. How close are you? Oh, you're not even halfway. Oh, god. Um, well, we can go to Slash Spawn anyway, then. And check out our brand new Infernape. So we'll use the regular healer for once. And, alright, so let's see. What do we want on this guy? Like, what kind of natures do we actually want? So I'm gonna... I'll get everything all opened up, and, um, alright, so we can go back to game, wow, I timed that perfectly, <laughs> uh, uh, where's the PC, wow, that was a really bad, uh, I try to avoid saying, uh, if at all possible, but, let's see, so something's gotta be upstairs, oh, we do have the trade machines, or, I'm sorry, not the trade machine, well, yeah, trade machines right there, oh, my god, I had a panic attack, oh, so, I forgot we caught all these Pokemon, so we do have the Chimchar right there, who are we not, Cottony, we could, uh, actually, no, no, Cottony, 
Cottony's still a good Pokemon. We could, uh, actually, what are you holding? You have a wide lens. I don't even know what that does. So we could, uh, go access that, excuse me, and, uh, actually, should we get the Shinx? Why not, right? We don't have an electric Pokemon. We've, we've been kind of needed. Whoa, holy crap. Um, we've been kind of needing one, so we can check that out. We'll go run downstairs, run outside, and the only way we could access this um, Chimchar is to actually get him to level 50. I don't know why, but I'm setting goals for myself. So we could battle all these guys by spawn. We could get this guy, and uh, wow, we could one-shot Flame Charge him. So let's go battle some more of them, because I know there tends to be some pretty high levels. Oh, crap. Um... Well, I guess we just accessed the Chimchar, didn't we? So we could, we're going to level up Chimchar probably a bunch right now, on accident. Uh, on accident and, um, oh, oh my god, we're evolving Chimchar already. <laughs> so uh, that was easy. Uh, so we can enjoy this. I'll take a drink of water really quick. And uh, I'll respond. Wow, just water just fell from the sky right there. Oh, you can't talk during this. Um, so yeah, we can evolve Chimchar. And here we go. So we, oh. Chimchar evolves into, I don't know, what the, oh, a Monferno. So we do have a brand new, brand new Monferno. We can ditch that. And, uh, yeah, so come on, Larvista. We want to see what kind of nature that guy is. So let's go continue on. What is that thing? I do not even know, but we're going to find out. This is definitely a new Pokemon. And, um, oh, crap. Well, Bug Bite? I mean, I, I don't... Okay, wow, touche, touche. <laughs> so, we can go to body slamming him, and actually probably, if that didn't work, let's try Zen Headbutt, because that will probably work, or at least it's not, it's decently effective. So we can do that, and uh, then we can Pokey Heal up, and does this guy want to battle or something? I don't get it. Um, I guess we'll battle him. It's relatively easy levels, no? Assuming we win. And, uh... Yes, we could flame charge, hopefully increasing our speed, because I'm imagining he, he might be faster than us right off the bat. So, yeah, he was, and oh my god, that did a ridiculous amount of damage. So he's going to poison jab. Poison jab is quite the godly move, so who can we switch into? I guess Miltank? He's going to poison jab on Miltank? I don't think so, but Miltank's defense is amazing. Oh god, he poisoned me. Oh god, we're going to have to milk drink. Milk drink, Miltank. Oh god, barely surviving. So we did, we did, oh god, he's going to... He's going to get really, really close to killing me. Um, this Pokemon's cool, though. I don't know what this is. Oh, he's going to Venoshock me, doing double damage because I'm poisoned. He's going to kill me. I can't keep up. He's uh, he's healing. He's killing me as I'm trying to heal. So we could try and switch into Tropius. He's going to Venoshock. It's super effective. We could Body Slam. Oh, God. I'm choking on this again. Oh, no. He poisoned me, and it did the poison damage kill me. And that is all of my high-level Pokemon. <laughs> oh, no. Um... Mill tank, I guess Zen headbutt. That would actually probably have been the smarter choice from the beginning, but uh, oh well. So yeah, we're dead here. I'm gonna kill myself uh, intentionally because takedown. Well, I'll take the recoil damage and it'll kill me. So uh, going out like a man and uh, let's see, poison jab. Okay, or he's faster, or that. So we have Monferno right here. We can mock punch. I doubt it'll kill it. Imagine it does. Imagine one of these lower levels kills it, but now it's not. And then we have Shinx as well. We can uh, charge. Because why not? Doesn't really make a difference at this point. And then Bagon, who is the, you know, he's probably the highest level out of the people left. And, uh, alright, so we can slash Pokey Heal and uh, continue on. So, let's see. Um, I still, I, can't, I thought that was a shiny again. God damn it. Uh, so, we got one more level to go with this guy. Whoa. Wow, you are not common, Yanma. What do you evolve into? What does Yanma evolve into? I forget, but should I try? I'm just going to go for an Ultra Ball right off the bat. Uh, what does it evolve into? Yeah, it's, it's something good, isn't it? Yan Mega? Huh. So, uh... I don't want to attack it. Well, someone could probably attack it, right? Shanks, you probably kind of have crappy moves. So we could uh, tackle. Don't kill it. There you go. And uh, then we could throw an Ultra Ball at it. And uh, yeah, so this actually seems like a pretty decent Pokemon, right? I, I feel like it is pretty good, right? And uh, yeah, let's see. Yan Mega. I'll look it up on Smogon. Smogon? Smogon? I don't know how to say that, actually. Wow, I just realized that. Um, oh, it's, no, it's in it's in UU. So it's not horrible, but um, Iron Hammer, thank you. So there is some guy right there with that. And uh, we can Poke Heal really quickly. Got some people coming on, so that's always good. 
and uh, let's go battle this guy really fast. And I don't even care what level he is. Oh, look, he sees me. He's running. So level 39, that is almost perfect. So you're going to send out a uh, Growlithe. We can flame charge him just to get our speed up. Helping hand not actually working until double battles are implemented. So, oh, we critted him and killed him. So now he's going to send out a Flareon. Flareon should give us quite a bit more experience. So that is good for us. And my phone is ringing. So that's not good for us because that's not good and it's no caller id so i guess i should answer this um here i'll, I'll answer it while oh oh hello uh uh oh okay i'm gonna hang up now and uh yes yeah, so that went well and then we can continue on we could take to take down really fast finish him off there you go take and recoil that we still didn't so close so close and um yeah, we, oh, we can't go, uh, that guy's going to be hard to beat, though, because, I mean, we could bug bite him, and, um, uh, let's see, oh, there's a 43 and a 49, I don't know about that one, um, Tropius can take him on, though, so Tropius can finish him off, and we could Magical Leaf really quickly, and, uh, finish him off, oh, god, he, this guy is tanky, holy crap, and, uh, Magical Leaf, just continuing to Magical Leaf, even it being super effective, it's doing, he's doing well, arguably more damage to me, and, oh, I almost whirlwind, that would've been bad, and, uh, waiting, okay, and there you go, so level 50, learning double edge, we could ditch takedown, finally, and, uh, so five more levels to go, that's really good for us, and, uh, actually, if you notice, um, what just happened, I do not know, uh, I don't know. It's like crashing or lagging. I don't know. Or maybe it's the restart. But what we can do is check out your bashful. Oh, uh, we have like nine bashful Pokemon. Isn't that the, uh, the natureless nature? Yeah, it is. So this actually doesn't do anything. So I'll cut right back. Yeah. All right, so we are back and now we can go, uh, oh God, there's a bunch of Venomots. All right, so we're like so close to getting a, um, uh, whatchamacallit, oh god, now I'm gonna forget what it's called, <laughs> a Volcarana, and um, I really, really want to get a Volcarana in this episode, so next episode, we don't have to worry about that, we could focus on either leveling up Bagon, or uh, leveling up someone else, so, or doing something else, because, not that I don't mind, I, I like leveling him up, but I, I, you know, sometimes, you know, gotta want to focus on other things from time to time, so there's a Gliscor over there, if that's what's even called, I forget sometimes, and um, actually, I may have the rare candy package thing still, so we may only need, I have two rare candies, I believe, so, uh, oh god, you are at high level, too bad, I just basically killed myself, and, um, okay, um, so we can, we could double edge, honestly, just kidding, we can't, <laughs> so we can switch into Bagon, switch out into Miltank, who will, uh, I could, I could do, uh, Zen Headbutt, because I believe he's part poison, right? Okay, no, he's not, he's not part poison, and uh, we can body slam right here, and body slam a few more times, and actually doing some really good damage on here, and Miltank is quite underleveled versus that guy, but it's okay, so we're gonna level up Gyro Ball, not a good move, not gonna use that, and uh, frankly, half those moves don't work, or those moves don't work half the time anyway, so it is a-okay, is that a boss? It is a boss, it's a yellow boss, hello, beautiful, and <laughs> what? 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 Flame charge? Oh my god. Oh my god, it's such a high level. Okay, we could paralyze it probably. No, it killed itself! That's the highest level boss, I think. No! No, what the hell was that? Oh, I thought that was a boss again. No! Oh god, yeah, we are. But we, there is no way we we're beating that thing, though. Uh, I, they, they're just way too good. We could have tried to. I was going to try and Zen Headbutt. But I was going to go for the para hacks and then try and Zen Headbutt. Uh, hopefully he would be paralyzed. And, but yeah, clearly not going too hot for us. So we could kill a bunch more Venomoths to take out our Rage like so. And um, increasing the speed. He's going to crit me though. And uh, we can finish that off. So we could Poke Heal up because he was getting kind of low. And as you can see, that one flying into the wall, getting completely damaged. So we can destroy him for that that's actually really mean i should not say that but uh, we could give him a nice hug to uh you know make him feel better about himself after flying into a wall because that's kind of an embarrassing moment we're out of food actually i just realized so that's never good but what we can do is battle a few more of these guys and um oh a few more of them they are really high level we, well what was that that was weird <laughs> um and uh, so we have yeah we have a bunch of slow bros it's just we can't actually really do anything to them because they kill me in like two hits 
actually oh no that was oh he just healed himself damn it um so don't slack off anymore and all right so he's gonna growl that's perfect and uh we could yeah just keep growling mate and uh, you'll probably win eventually yeah yeah no definitely keep growling keep growling there you go so actually getting up to level 51 for that and there is a new feature added and um I, basically i could talk about that the towards the end of the video but i think i have it's two or three rare candies so we only need a few more levels theoretically and actually let me grab this so i don't die and so uh, we can eat it really quickly and um there you go so regaining almost all of our hunger as it well Okay, that was that was weird. Um, let's not do that again, please. And uh, oh, another slow bro. Wow, you slow bros are really high level. And what's going on? Whoa, whoa, holy lag. And uh, I think that was me lagging though. Well, yeah, that that was me. I think not the server. So he's gonna miss a Zen head, but and these guys do not use water moves, do they? Are they what are they? Water psychic, I'm guessing. And uh, uh, so I can't play. Oh, okay, okay. What? Okay. Not gonna judge. Not gonna judge. <laughs> oh my god. He just completely dodged that. Um, we can battle this one though. Flame charge him. One, two, three. And we should finish him off in two turns like so. And then we can battle that Venomoth as well. And I'm actually getting frame rate issues. I don't know what's going on here. Kind of weird. Flame charge him one more time. And uh, alright. So level 52. So I do believe. Actually let's, let's heal up. Oh, there's a few more. There's a bunch more Venomots over here. That is one more level, ladies and gentlemen, as far as I'm concerned. And we can jump on you really fast as so. And to get over there. Oh my god, you're flying the wrong way. No, I don't want them to fight each other and kill each other. Fly, fly, fly. All right, so there's a few big Venomots and a few smaller ones. Oh, you're not that high of a level, but the other one, your friends are. And you should be a nice one hit KO, but you might be faster than me. As it says, waiting. Do, do, do. And, oh, he put me to sleep. Gotta make it difficult. Gotta make it difficult. What's going on here? I'm not attacking. Uh. Uh. What what happened? I don't know. That was weird. So we can flame charge though. And he's gonna poison powder. I'm still asleep, so you can't actually poison me because you can only do one status effect thing at a time. So you know, just kind of hanging out here, sleeping. Come on, wake up. There you go. And making a one turn battle, or what should have been a one turn battle, into like a five turn battle. So never too crazy about that. And this episode is going to be quite long. I can already tell because it was like 40 minutes before. This is probably another five or so minutes. And we're going to get a Volcarana. I I'm dedicated to this thing. So we could just battle everything just to get this guy. And we could flame charge him. No big deal. He's going to poison me. No big deal. We could pokey heal right out of that. And how, how close are you? You're decently close. You're actually really not all that close. But again, so we only need to level up once more. So we just got to keep killing these guys. Well, we're getting there, guys. Don't even sweat it. He's going to smoke screen. Not going to affect us too much. And uh, yeah, there you go. So we could poke heal one more time. I don't even think I needed to do it then. And uh, let's go see if we could battle this water Pokemon. I don't think we're going to be able to... Uh, I don't know. It could, it could really go either way. A beach Magikarp over there. They actually drop fish. So they're always kind of nice to have around. So a level 35 Seeking. Actually, we may be able to finish you off just because of our level advantage. And you're not even going to use a water move. So we could definitely finish you off then. And uh, getting 1600 experience uh, from that. So that's quite good for us. And... Uh, <laughs> Whoa, that was weird. <laughs> oh, God. My voice, my voice like, stalled right here. <laughs> that was really weird. That's what happens when you talk for too long. And, all right, so Larva Stub battling this Arbok. Remember when these Arboks used to give us a problem? Oh, God, it's going to do that, though. And Okay, fine. So getting out of the Paralyzed. Thank God for that. A level 56 Muck, though. That's actually kind of scary. And so he's going to mud bomb doing quite a bit of damage to us. So that's never good. We could continue to fire charge though, or flame charge. And uh, we should be able to kill him, right? Yeah, right here. We got him. So there you go. And we did get to level 53. So there you go. Two more levels to go. And we can use rare candies to finish that off. So actually, is that a bug catcher? Let's see what level he is. Maybe we don't have to use both of our rare candies. And uh, is that 20 or 30? So what I added was this thing. And it's basically going to be, so I don't know. Let me tell you how you guys feel about this is basically by doing a kit you could you could buy a kit and basically this is just to help pay for the server we did recently double the size of the server and uh, basically what it's going to do is um it's going to increase oh god it's 59 i i <sighs> well we get battle a little bit more i guess right no i'm gonna do it next episode yeah, because there's no way we're going to be able to get to 59 today. And he's going to kill us right now. And I'm going to basically kill myself with the... Yeah. 
Oh, I just sent out a bag on. I didn't want to do that. But we could switch into Tropius, finish him off, and uh, just magical leave him because we're a boss. And okay, just kidding. That did like no damage. Ah, don't kill me. Don't kill me. Body slam. Body slam. Body slam him. Tropius. Tropius. Home Claws is the TM1. Yeah. And leveling up quite a bit. But uh, yeah, so I'll just do it next episode. I'll explain everything next episode then because that just made me too depressed to want to film this anymore. <laughs> But yeah, so again, try and hit this to 75 likes. Hopefully we can achieve that. I do thank you all for watching. I do hope you enjoyed today's episode of Pixelmon. And well, actually, there's more coming. So stay tuned for the second episode coming later today. And I hope to see you all next time. Later.